After trips to Perth, Townsville and Gosford in recent weeks, the Manly Seagulls will relish their return to Brookvale Oval. And you can feel the confidence growing in the reigning premiers. But today they take on formidable opposition. In fact, a side back in round 19 who beat them 32 points to 6 in the shape of the Newcastle Knights. Good afternoon and welcome to tonight's Sunday afternoon rugby league. This is round 24 action on a beautiful day here on the north side. And I'm with Andrew Johns and Joey. Both of these sides come in in very good form. Let's have a look at Manly first up. Yep. They beat South Sydney 23 points to 6 last weekend. And a rarity for them. Full strength here at Brookvale. What do you make of that combination? Yeah, dangerous combination. They're warming up at the right end of the, the, the season. Not only are their players back, but they're all injury free. Kieran Foran carried some injury worries. Jamie Lyons, Steve Maddai, uh, Jason King, they're all getting back to peak fitness. It's a dangerous team. I can see this team rolling on to the grand final. Both sides are as per program, named early in the week, and that sees Brett Stewart at fullback on the wings, George Defua and David Williams. The centre pairing co-captain Jamie Lyon alongside Steve Mattai. The centre, the 5'8 is Kieran Foran, the halfback Daly Cherry Evans. The back row of Glenn Stewart, Anthony Watmo and Tony Williams. The other co-captain Jason King up front with Matt Ballon and French Kite. The bench, George Rose and Jamie Bura, Joan Alabau and Vic Morrow, and they are coached by Jeff Toovey. Very good performance from Newcastle last week in overcoming the Cronulla side, 26 points to four. This is a team that won four of just their opening 13 matches, but since then have won six from eight. How have they turned that around? I think they struggled for their style of play under Wayne Bennett. He wanted to get their defence right. And once they got their defence right, he could move on to their attack. I think they've done that over the last couple of months, playing with a lot more width off the dummy half. The highlight for me on Monday night was the width of the passes from Denny Bedeiros to Jared Mullen to get him on the outside of the defenders and Mullen running the ball. We see here on the Challenger Q player, Jared Mullen, 5'8 for the Knights. He'll have to have a big game. See him showing and going there. That's his best attribute, his speed and his skill. That was off a wide pass from Bedeiros, which led to a try to Gagai. But uh, he's at his best when he's running the ball and supporting up the middle. It's a nice to win and need Mullen to fire. OK, Darius Boyd helping out in that department, and thanks to Iselet, this is their lineup. At fullback, Darius Boyd on the wings, Kevin Naguama and Aquila Uate. The centres, Dean Gargai and Tamana Tahu. 5'8", Jared Mullen and halfback, Tyrone Roberts. The back row, Chris Houston, Neville Costigan and Alex McKinnon. The front row, Kate Snowden and Willie Mason. Hooker and captain, Danny Bedaris. Unit change, Robbie Rocco, Zeb Taylor, Adam Cutherson, Zane Tedavano, and they're coached by the great Wayne Bennett. 24 it is and Newcastle out on to Brookvale Oval a ground where their record is not flash they've had some very tough times here in fact they've won only two from 12 and not since 2006 that they tasted victory here but this is a big one for them Danny Badiris and his team today they have a better four and against than the Tigers so if they win they are in the top eight and that would be a massive plus, just a fortnight away from the playoffs, a team that at the halfway mark of the season, very few of the fans or experts wanted to know anything about them. Poor attacking record at the halfway mark of the year, in fact, the worst in the competition. But they have turned things around, and at the moment are on a run of six wins from their last past eight games. And they have to be happy with that. And the Manly Seagulls sporting a different strip today and they are raising awareness of type 1 diabetes and we all know that is a cause close to the heart of Brett Stewart he was diagnosed at 14 years of age David Williams and Brett Stewart have had great input into the production of these jumpers and today the players are accompanied out by the McClay Valley Coast Diabetes Group kids between the ages of 5 and 16 had the thrill of running out alongside the first grade stars so good cause and sets the scene today for what is going to be quite the game it always is newcastle and manly on an absolutely outstanding day here at brookvale good crowd and in the spirit of the chief and spud carroll watch out for the first hit up of the match here we go Round 24, home timber and hardware, Sunday football, the first hit up, it be from a penalty. Newcastle kick it out on the full. And that is... Harsh penalty for... Quite dreadful, really. 
Well, how do you do that? First kick of the game. And you spray it way out over the sideline. White line, he missed the world. Line. It's a big target. Tyrone Roberts it was, and Manly with possession and kite. Baker Finch almost put it off the adjacent fairway, the first tee at St Andrews one year. That's a long way. As now Foran pushes them left side, big T-Rex Williams. He's tackled just 11 metres away from the line. They didn't expect to be here. Newcastle defending so early. What no does the shuffling run up to within five of the line was tackled by Costigan. Now Ballon away for Cherry Evans. Sets it up nicely for Brent Stewart. And Stewart will go close. Mason got there at the last moment to push him into the turf. Cherry Evans swings them back left side. Don't they look lively? Pass comes out to Madai. Back from injury today. Good tackle from Gagai. Quickly into dummy half was Tafua. Now Foran. Kick of the lower variety. Put down by Tahu. He gets a second snatch at it. It was a real grab at the footy and line drop out Newcastle. Yeah, but he had a good grab at it the first time. Tamana Tahu boasts a very good set of hands. It was a comfortable take for him, despite the arrival of Brett Stewart. And so instead of coming back for a 20-metre restart with the tap, and there's now a line drop out under the post and the pressure maintained. Alex, stay on. Have a look at the crowd, Andrew. No, here we go. Have a look at the crowd. Don't they love their Sunday footy at Brookie? Big crowd. Stewart passes here for King. He breaks the two-minute barrier. Not quite Roger Bannister stuff, but he gets it in early, does Gould. As Ballon goes on to Watmo. And Watmo is held up 20 metres out from the Newcastle line. Back-to-back -back sets for the Premiers. Is now Cherry Evans out in front of Glenn Stewart. Support there. And through goes Lyon. I don't think that was precision, but it sets up the try all the same. And the man of the match from last Friday night opens with a four-pointer here. That may not have been picture perfect, the way they trained for it coming into this game, but that's how good these players are. They adapt to what is needed. And Brett Stewart out the back there. He maintains the attention of Tamana Tahu. And Jamie Lyon on the inside just strolls through a, a very inviting gap. And we go back to the restart of the game. Instead of being at the other end of the field, the opening minutes have all been played at this end, with Newcastle defending the whole time. Well, it's a try of a craftsman, and Glenn Stewart is a craftsman. Too many ball players in the game today go to the line with a manufactured or predetermined pass in mind. But this fella goes to the line and waits for a reaction from the defence. And what made that look so exquisite was he waited until the last second before deciding whether to pass early to Lyon or to pass out the back to Stewart. And it was a credit to Lyon who kept himself available to hit the hole. And Jamie Lyon with a conversion attempt makes it... 148 points for the year. Andrew John's sideline. Yeah, beautiful ball playing by Glenn Stewart. But watch Tamana Tahu. He staggered back. Tyrone Roberts comes up. But have a look where Tahu is. He's back and dislocated from Tyrone Roberts. That gives him an angle to run back on Jamie Lyon. They've got to present a straight line to this manly left side attack. Otherwise, they're going to carve him all day. Yeah, good stuff, Joey. And showing up there on the replay. King returns. He's back from injury as well, just like Matt I this week for Manly. Momentum building to the finals. It's spot on here with the Seagulls. Now tight with it. He was great last Friday night against the Bunnies. Well, you would expect them to make a statement today, if at all possible, the Seagulls. Beautiful Sunday afternoon at home. and you know, We can smell the semi-finals just around the corner. Matt I took off from Dunny Half. They got away from Snowden, and now they... Danny and Chris, Rule the no penalty. Good. Chris Houston called out. Well, it was good advantage played by the referee. And a tremendous charge from Tony Williams and a quick play of the ball at the end of it. And Steve Maddow got out, Snowden got him, but then the Newcastle defender in Gagai wasn't back. Oh, Cherry Evans. Yours, brother. Yep. It was fine touch, 35 out, five minutes, all the home team. They can give away a start, can't they? Newcastle too. If you think of just the last month alone against the Bulldogs, they 
conceded the first four tries. They found themselves down by a healthy margin against the Warriors not so long ago. They're under the pump here against Manly. As here is Ballon on for Brett Stewart. Brett Stewart goes through to his brother Glenn, and Glenn will go all the way to score. Well, normally it's the other way around. Glenn setting it up for Brett. But Brett says, here you go, big brother. That's a nice plug for Channel 9. Here's a try. They are yet to have the football, Newcastle, and it's their own fault to a large degree. David Middleton will track down a statistic that tells us that when the Stewart brothers play and one of them score, they don't get beaten. Well, he had work to do here, Glenn Stewart. He carried Roberts for six metres and gets it down next to the post on the Great Wall replay. Stewart to Stewart. Still had a lot to do. Kept the legs pumping. Ball planted. Lovely play. Let, let's go back to the opening play of the game, the kickoff from Newcastle. Vossi, how do they miss it? It's, it's a big area. Yeah. The opposition half of the field is a big area. It's 50 metres long, it's 67 metres wide, and they miss it. How can you do this from the opening kickoff of the game? That's a lot of territory there, and he missed it. I can understand someone missing a dartboard, but I can't understand someone missing the other half of the field with their kick. And look at it's done to them. Vossi, I've had the good fortune to play the first at St Andrews, and it's a yes, couple of football that, first. That's right away. To get there. And, and, and poor Baker Finch at his worst. I mean, he swung it left. Well, that's something for the commission to look at the width of the field, Gus. As Lyon kicks the goal, what a start from Manly. Flexing the muscles, 12 0. Stay behind. Sunday football on nine, and the Knights have set themselves quite a task. Now, Tyrone Roberts, he's got the, the width right this time. Coming down in the 10-metre line. You wouldn't call it perfect, though, to have Manley taking the first hit up. The first tackle outside the 20. It was King. Barring some injuries. He had a very good year, Jason King. Now Ballon. Watmo comes into the field this time. Nice work. Lovely play. And on the end of it. Manly are dialed into this match in the opening minutes as Watney now feeds it along to Tony Williams. And this is men against boys at the moment. Williams just charges into the Newcastle 40. Watney wants every second touch. He's bumped another one off. Stood and offloaded back for Ballon. He'll play it 25 metres out from the Knights line. Last tackle now. Foran's kick over the top. There was a chance to catch it on the full for Uate, but he's able to watch it go over the dead ball line and thankfully the Knights will have, now have possession. Wait for the whistle, I hope they Danny, remember what to do with it. The guru, David Middleton, has put me in my place, Bossy. It's when both Stewart score. They don't get beaten. Well, we're halfway there and I think the odds are on my favour that Brett will get across. The grand final last year was the tenth time it had happened. They were the perfect ten from ten on grand final night. And that ooh, almost lost there by Naguama in getting back to his feet. Now Tahu's got the ball. Tackle down low there by King. Cherry Evans as well. No play the ball at all there from Tamana Tahu. And referee Robinson scrum. just says no. So Manly will get a scrum feed. What did they last? Three tackles? Not a good from Wayne Bennett's men. Yeah, and that's good work from the referees. I think there should be a lot more obligation on the bloke playing the ball to do the right thing. I think the penalty differential between attack and defence in that area is is too great and the man playing the ball has got some responsibilities and Tahu took liberties hold there up, and hold up, hold up. Robinson was quite within his rights to pull him up he just said no nope. pull him together Darius and would not enter into, next to it. into any to conversation right. I can't wait for this was he yeah 830 tonight Kerry Packers war the drama event of 2012 as now Manly attacked on the right hand side and then offloaded it was loose it was a chance for Roberts to get to it but retained by Manley the centre field with King. He, he looks as sprightly as I've ever seen Jason King. He is really moving well. Great platform set up front by the Seagulls. Now Ballon out the back for four. And look at this. Brett Stewart left side. Out there to Tafua and doesn't get a glove on it. Or well, doesn't get it in. And Newcastle will get the scrum feed. He got a double last week. He looked like he was going to get across for his first this afternoon. And if he had have scored, he would be thanking Matt Ballon, who on the far side of the field, when David Williams threw the football back in, showed more desperation than any other player to dive on it. 
and retain possession for Manly. Wait for it down. Wait with me, boys. Wait they should have the scored there. The, they didn't handle that last little bit very well at all. It was sort of a, a nonchalant finish to the to the play. They, they definitely should have scored. They had three on two. That was training drill stuff. Now you've already said you love Sunday football, but there really is something about this dry weather, afternoon football, the, the work of Manly sweeping right, sweeping back left, doing it confidently as Houston takes the ball forward for Newcastle. They're inside their 30, the Deeris, and on to Mason. So that's the positive for Newcastle in this point. They know that in that last month, they've come back from those Chase. deficits, Chase not to front. win against the Bulldogs, but they did against the Warriors. So they've got that to draw on. There is, mate, there's mate. There is still confidence in this Newcastle game. We've just got to start again. We've got to forget the scoreboard, forget what's happening in the first 11 minutes of this game. And just maintain possession, strong defensively. Mason takes the ball forward, that's a good chance, 10 metres off the first run. And they're in good field position. Newcastle just one completed set in 11 and a half minutes. Now the ball with young McKinnon. And a good signing for them, just outside the 20. The Knights' first visit to this end of the park, and Roberts double pumped and then went short. And Snowden's offloaded back for Roberts. McKinnon gets another touch. He's only 11 away, so now Manley's turn to feel a little bit of heat. Cherry Evans made the tackle. Badiris gets them going back to the right hand side. Mullen, lovely ball. Gagai's got it. Gagai has set it up by URT with a juggle and still gets there. Yep. Aku Uate gets another one. And that is nine games straight that he has scored a try. He's one of the, the best finishers there is. That's a wonderful hit back. Have a look at the footwork here from Gagai and what it does to Steve Maddai. Puts him on his backside. And that opened up space on the outside. Kieran four and up against Aquila Uate, who is a much bigger man. On the Great Wall replay, it'll show there's only going to be one winner of that. But what a movement from Gagai, then the flick out the back, got control of it. Uate, four and did his best. One of the best finishes in the business, as you say, gets nine in a row. He's a real talent, Gagai, a real talent. He was cut from the Broncos earlier this year, but there were plenty clamouring for his signature. And that bit of footwork there and the flick out the back is very typical of what he can do. He's got the shirt off at the moment. It looks like a little bit of a sternum problem there for him too, which... Might be a problem in defence, and now he's given it away to the Manly side that he's got that problem. So they'll be they'll be targeting that. But look, put that down to what Manly did at the other end of the field. That was nonchalant from Manly. They should have scored in the left-hand corner, handled it badly, and it'll be a reminder that when you've got your foot on the opposition's throat, don't let them up. And here's Roberts with a conversion attempt. Tyrone Roberts off to the side, but they're on the board. Sunday football here from Brookie. It is Manly 12, Newcastle 4. Wait for it! An afternoon for so far that has produced three tries this round 24 match. Manly the last two weeks, just two tries in total. As Mason brings it back for the Knights. One of the many 30-somethings in their side. There's Mason, there's Badiris, there's Tahu. And now Costigan with the ball. Locks on to the Manly front row. Last time Manly played the Knights, Ballon came up with 60 tackles. He'll be Probably up around the 50 mark today. Played there by Snowden. On for McKinnon. Straight charge that time. Back to the, the 40 metre line. And now Darius Boyd is able to go for another 10 as Newcastle get in a little bit of a groove here following on for their first try. And Mullins kicked down to the corner. That's the sort of set that they train for. Get Manley down in the corner and Brett Stewart nowhere to go. 60 tackles in a game. I don't know how you do that. I, I said to Nathan Hindmarsh once, I said, how would you make 65 tackles in that game? He said, well, you tackle 65 times. Will he up now? That was a nice response, wasn't it? Yeah. Now, to Phil, well, Sterlo, you played with Paul Taylor. He was one of the first men that used to get those really high counts. Well, only because I went back to fullback and pushed him up in the front oh, line and said, do your best. But technically one of the the great defenders he wasn't a big man but he knew how to get them on the ground it's cherry evans oh, he's he got a touch on that naguama he's in trouble here naguama oh, now he's, he's put his foot on the line 
Now it's a line dropout. There's only a step. Just wait on that. I don't want him walking a tightrope. No, he twinkled toed right to the dead ball line here. And he had to rush it because we believe he's got a touch on this. He's touched it. Back he comes. Hurry, 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 hurry. Oh, can't fall off the cliff. Can't fall off the cliff. Toe on the line. I'm not fielding him in slips either. That was his original <laughs> problem, line, that he, he didn't take the catch. On the line, behind. Which means he had to get back there and try and keep the ball in play, unable to do so. He's been strong lately. I would suggest he has to find another trade, but it wasn't his best moment right there. And King is with it for Manly. Co-captain. Cops a bit of treatment there from the Knights' defence. So Seagull's up by eight points, and here is four and Tony Williams. Every touch has been devastating so far. Look at this. No more devastating than that. Rookvale Oval becomes Jurassic Park as the T-Rex just gets out of my way. Well, his comeback game against the Roosters was quite phenomenal. Played the full 80 minutes, and he was just unstoppable. He's been a little bit quiet since then. But his start this afternoon has been Tony Williams at his best. And I think the unfortunate man in front of him here trying to go one-on-one -on -one is Jared Mullen. And he just kept going out of shot there. You can see on the Great Wall replay, he was in at one moment, Jared Mullen. Next minute, he was out of it. Well, that's what you see in the park on a Saturday morning. You know, there'll be two teams out there playing, team of under-10s or under-12s, and there's nothing between the two teams until they give it to the big kid. And the big kid runs over and scores a try, and everyone says, well, that's just unfair. Well, there was something unfair about that, wasn't there? Bulldogs are top of the ladder, and they've got the services of Tony Williams the next four years. Yeah. That's a good sign. Well, they mean business, don't they? But that, that was just totally unfair. And I think Williams has got to get that more in his game, too. You know, to get him in a position where he's isolated one-on-one -on -one and then take the line on... I, I find at times he gets the ball standing still a lot and then just wants to push people away and, and offload the ball. But I said I'd be buying him a full-length mirror and every day before you go to the footy, have a look how big you are. And there is the conversion off the post and wide. So Manly, three tries to one and leads 16 to four. Tony Williams, Joey, only his 11th game for the year. Different role for Tony Williams. Normally he's running that straight line there, the Brett Kite runs. This time he's out the back. You get this guy one-on-one, -on -one, He's going to devastate it. As long as everyone does their job around the ball, if you can get this guy one-on-one, -on -one, he is dead step unstoppable. Maybe even two-on-one. How are you going to stop him? We start again from the Knights. Kite, look at this. The Wolf bands away of Brett Kite. Then kept alive for Lyon. Oh, Brett Stewart put it down. What a restart there from Manly, they say. It's travelled forward. Oh, it was quite dynamic. Yeah, well, that's a set play because they looked for it on the previous kickoff. If you go back to the previous kickoff he caught, they actually looked for it off that play and were set for it. This time they executed it nicely and had Brett Stewart caught that, he'd have been in the match race with Naguama, but they had picked that up off the video. That's that's good coaching Outside. by the Manly coaching staff. Bring it together. Newcastle Brett, winger Brett. coming in there, on kickoff chase. And correct call at the finish, Bureau onto it, but the ball would travel forward. Now Gagai's got the ball for the Knights. The start of the year was playing with Redcliffe. We'll be happy to know that Redcliffe have gone on to take the minor premiership in the Intra Super Cup. That's sealed overnight. Knights now in possession just outside the 40. And Costigan to centre field, Houston with it. But no chance of an offload. Three up there in the tackle, and the ball well and truly locked up. Bureau there with King. And now for Mullen, across to Roberts, Roberts to Boyd, Boyd will run, into space goes Boyd, backs himself, Boyd, oh well, he's got it down, Darius Boyd has got it down and the touch That'll be uh, tackle four, Clarkie. I think has stood his ground. He, uh, sorry, it was a double movement. Well, they might double say double right. movement, but Boyd is confident. Well, he's done an amazing job if he has got this over, and he has got no doubt that that is the case. It's a move they've had success with oh, in recent yeah, weeks. Man. It's one-on-one, -on -one, Brett Stewart and Darius Boyd. And that's a double movement, unfortunately, because Brett Stewart is still touching him. Well, why would he do that? That's just your garden variety double movement. He goes down, and now he pick it up and put it off. 
That's a double movement. Boy. Well, here is the decision, and the decision is no try. Here, boys. The cheers of the Brookvale faithful and double movement against Darius Boyd. They stood back here. Look, Darius Boyd's intention was to, to it, set it up, to set it up. Yes. But then 15 out, he thought, no, I've got a, a great opportunity. And has done all, all but score. So Manly back in possession now. Checking on the condition of Matt Ballon now. The reason Bure is out there, it's most unusual for Ballon to go off inside 20 minutes. Kite has it. And he is tackled on the 20. So maybe an early setback on the injury front for Manly. Certainly not on the scoreboard. He's going swimmingly. And away goes Williams again. He's, he's left Mullen behind. Nightmares for Jared Mullen here. And you would expect that to continue. The last two games for Manly, the entire back row have all played the 80 minutes. As Nullivau takes the ball forward. Outside of Darcy Lussick, maybe. A chance of coming to 17. He spoke about them being at full strength. Bura. Beautiful run from Bura. Back for Foran. Cherry Evans right there. Cherry Evans offloads back inside. To Foran to score. Straight down the middle. Like it was the F3 freeway. 20 points to four. Well, they can beat you to the right. They can beat you to the left. And they can come straight up the middle at you, Manly. And it's Jamie Bura, awful marker defence. Awful marker defence from Snowden. I think McKinnon was there as well. Kieran Foran, his first touch in the movement, finds his partner in crime in the halves, Daly Cherry Evans, who flings the ball back. Brett Stewart was there. He was lining up. So too Steve Matai. And on the Great Wall replay, this is great work at the end of Jamie Bura starting it with a dart from dummy half. A couple of lovely passes in that, wasn't there? The, the round the corner one from Jamie Bura. Poked his nose through the line, but just knew that four and a B there. He got it around the corner and then at the death. Cherry Evans had thoughts of going in for a try himself, realised he'd been dragged down from behind and got the one arm pass back in field. Terrible, terrible defence up the middle of the ruck by Manly, though. By uh, Knight, sorry. There's another one of the stars that's missed a lot of footy this year, Kieran Foran, and, and some football he's played. In fact, I, I dare say a lot of the football he's played is less than 100% fit. Now, Joey, what is the story with Matty Ballon? Yeah, lower leg injury. They're just going to monitor him if he's going to come back. I just want to talk about this play here from Dummy Have You see him there getting checked. Yeah, it's a lower leg injury. Watch this play from the halves and the fullback. When the dummy half runs, watch the movement from Cherry Evans, Kieran Foran, and also Brett Stewart. Thunder when the dummy half run, the seven, six, and one must be supporting. Look at them all in there, all supporting each other, all supporting their dummy half. Great play by the halves, the fullback, and the hooker. And this time, Newcastle with a kickoff restart straight down the centre. And again, very clever play there. They didn't get there on the full, but Brett Stewart runs out in front of the ball just in case the side gets a bad bounce now the ball bounced towards the try line but it's just heady play from brett stewart as bura goes forward again what's this ball bounce now it could go anywhere but brett stewart will run up in front of it just in case it bounced back towards newcastle so much to be impressed by here with manly's performance so far today and they've bombed a try as well and now they'll get a penalty Danny Badiris, rueful look and a slow walk back. They're on their heels, the Knights. Well, this is what I kind of expected from the defending Premiers today, to announce themselves and that the, the charge for the finals has begun. And they've had a couple of warning shots. I mean, Gagai sending Mirabe in and Darius Boyd nearly pulling their pants down on the left-hand side of the field. So we've got to remain committed. Cherry Evans takes them right, and Stewart back into centre field, into no man's land, and that's untidy. And Newcastle get onto it. The figure Manly fans are looking at today is a win by 23 or more, and they will go to third on the ladder, ahead of South Sydney. And with the final system this year, first week, it's 1v4 and 2v3. At the moment, that would mean a clash with Melbourne. And get them on the opposite side of the draw to the bulldog. Now out 
to Gagai. So all of a sudden, the Hasler versus Manly grand final becomes a possibility. Here is Uate offloading. That's all down the track. It's a long way away, isn't it? Just working on figures. There's now Badiris back from Mullen. And Mullen with a, a hefty boot on this one. Boy, that has sailed off the boot. And, and in fact, has it touched the line? Maybe not. Well, they're going to say it has. Only just must have done it the last roll, did it? Touch judge, I think, on the western side made the ruling. Not necessarily the bloke on the eastern side. It would have been closer. Let's have a look. Let's have a look. Let's have a look. Gee whiz. I think the first early on in his cherry, Evans up the middle. I think the first bounce was will do have just touched it. So Nagy with the ball and tight. Some nice work short of the line and off for Nullavau. Nullavau and Badiris. We're talking about the second and third oldest players in the game today going head to head. And now out for Madai with a lovely move off the left there. Real jink to it. Showing Gagai at uh, the Newcastle Centre of Dunder Madai not so long ago. Kite off loads. Away goes Stewart. Brett this time. There for Lyon. Now for Williams. Back in field. Beats Roberts. Beats Taylor. And then can't beat McKinnon. This is so good from Manly. Lyon, Cherry Evans, Hero with the ball. Five metres away from the line and five tackles up in this set. 13 and a half minutes out from half time for Newcastle. It's, it's a long way away and even further now. Tony Williams has rolled yes. over the top of the football. He's got a double. Manly doing so much right here. 26 to 4. And making it look way too easy as well. Brett Stewart making the bust that put them in this position. This is the last tackle. Now, Aquila Uate. Very, very slow off the mark there. You know a kick's coming. And you've got to expect that that might be an area it's going to come to. But I know that they've got the, the, the momentum and the chases, but... Well, they've got two and three jerseys there before any Newcastle. Now, we did a game here earlier this season. Uh, I think it was against Parramatta. And Manly might have led at half-time 34-0, something of that... Vicinity, and I think led 40 nil just after half time and ended up winning 40 to 24. They conceded a lot of second half points. Now we're in August, I would expect that they wouldn't allow that to happen. This looks as though it'll get the 28 to 4. There's still plenty of time left in the first half. Uh, they've got to ram this home today and just keep going and not slacken off, I think would be the message. It's been great to watch so far as Lyon adds another two. The Premiers look so good. 28 to 4. Sunday football on nine. Well, here we go again for Tyrone Roberts. And this time he gives us a, a low wobbly one. Loving this coming back from the kickoffs. Well, Manly are getting them all over the field. It just looks like they can break the front line at will. Nullabau with another touch, missed tackle count, tells quite a, an ugly story at 18-4. Newcastle could have had two tries posted. Boyd's one disallowed, a close one. Watno's offloaded back there for Bureau. The offload count is killing, is killing Newcastle. Williams is playing, he's, he's untouchable. Tony Williams at the moment, untouchable and unstoppable. Yeah, check his birth certificate. He's in the wrong age group. Now Bureau with the ball. Just inside the night half. Last tackle here for Manly Bureau. But so good since coming on for Ballon. He's uh, nursing that lower leg problem. Boyd. That's <laughs> And 20 metre restart there. Andrew Johns has got the latest as far as injuries are concerned. Joey? Yeah, Matty Ballon, he's got a calf strain. And also Jason King, the co-captain, he's got an AC strain. They both might be used unless they're really needed. So you'd think with the score of 28 to 4, they might be icing up. Might be their day gone. And George Rose about to come in. And keep an eye on David Williams as well, who limped back after that last try was scored. Got a bit of attention. He seems to be OK on the right flank. North man with the, the headband today. Newcastle, Cuthbertson's out there. Well, I remember that day against Parramatta. The Wolfman had four tries by half-time. 
and we'd gone to the record books. He touched it once in the second half. Off. Some early ball there from Mullen, then for Uada. He does a little hurdle, and then he's upended. Put it past in the same motion. And there's a little the worse for wear now. Uate comes on to Robbie Rocco. The touch inside the Manly 40, last tackle. And Mullen's going to bomb this time. Back towards Tafua's wing. Stewart's called for it. Stewart has got it. Brett Stewart has lost it. It sort of spat out there, and Williams alert hasn't knocked it dead. Taylor has come we, sprinting through. Can we uh, check everything from the kick, please, Clarky? Zebalon <laughs> Taylor, who got two tries here last year, I think has is, is snaffled one again. Yes, he's off to the English Super League next season. Going to Catalan. And David Williams did a great job as we have a look at the chases all on side. Brett Stewart gets a decent set of cover here, but look at Williams on the right wing for Manly. Goes a long way to help out in case he's needed, and he was. But he just didn't make a bird of it when he got there, and Taylor appears to have got the right hand down well enough. I'm worried about his feet on the, uh, on the dead ball line here. This ball's dropped. I'm just wondering who kicks this and whether or not Taylor's in front of him. It was Gagai that kicked it. If you go back, I think Taylor was in front of him. And now I'm worried about Taya's feet here on the line. I think he's touched the line with his foot. But I think if you go back to the high shot, my feeling is that Taya is in front of Gagai, who gets the kick through. And it's touch and go as to whether or not his foot hits the line. Well, they're not going back for the offside, which is unfortunate. So it's either a try... Mm. I think his toes yeah. on the line. So we're saying the right result here would be a Newcastle scrum feed, but I think we're going to have a 20-meter restart. There you go. So it's worked out against Newcastle on two counts. Jamie, no quick ones from here. No quick ones from video. He only needs one. Yours, Hazy. Yeah, it's interesting. So Manly get it back. Here we go with the Tony Williams show again. And Mullen will be saying, well, there you go. I can tackle him. Houston was there as well, and then a good tackle again. Good double from Houston there, trapping Matt High. It's Georgie Rose. Gus is exactly right with Tony Williams. We've been a touch critical in recent weeks that he's got too many balls standing flat-footed and then having to generate something. And again, as Andrew Johns pointed out, tonight or this afternoon he's been used as a second-man runner, which forces him to take the ball and split. Here's a chance for Stewart. Oh, Glenn Stewart for brother Brett. They're in the backyard down in Wollongong. Brett Stewart! The Baron of Brookvale is over again! Both Stewart boys have scored here today. Brett set it up for Glenn. Glenn has set it up for Brett. It's Sunday afternoon footy in the backyard at Muffs. Well, we mentioned earlier when the Stewarts score, they don't get beaten. And you, you felt that Brett Stewart was always going to get across in this kind of game. This will be his 63rd try from 68 matches here on home turf. And after, I thought, a very successful Origin series, he's going to be a key man for Manly over the next seven weeks. You know, there was a time in his career where he'd have gone over untouched there, where they just wouldn't have seen him. He'd have, he'd have spirited down the middle of the field there and no one would have got near him. But he's still a try scorer. Even though he's lost that yard of pace, he knows where the line is and he can still muscle his way there. And a great second effort from Stewart. Didn't look back, didn't look for support. Said, I'll get there, backed himself. And look at those career stats. That is absolutely amazing. Yeah, the strike rate is up with the very best. Not just the tally, of course. 121 tries now in game number 152. And as Sterlow said, 63 of those tries here in front of the home fans of Brookvale. So Lyon to convert again. What a half this is for the Seagulls. Joey, sideline. Yeah, it's one of my favourite plays to watch on the field. Look to go one way, turn the ball back inside, then test the defenders over the other side of the ruck for their honesty. But you need someone hitting a hole like Brett Stewart there. He tests the other side of the ruck. 121 tries, about to sign a new four-year contract. If he stays injury-free, how good to see him. Break the 200 tries. Wait for it. Yeah, great start. Gee, there's been some good rugby league tries here this afternoon. And that one's an awkward one, but Brett Stewart has got to it. Manly have to come out from their own goal. 
Rose is the man who has to do it. And the good sign with George Rose before he went out, we saw him tightening the, the pants. He had the strap, putting the double knots in, hopefully, maybe the triple knots. I think he's lost a little bit of weight, I've got to be honest. I think he found it again. Yeah. Four and out to Tony Williams, just dumps that pass off inside, and Matt I almost away. Cuthbertson got across there, former Manly player. Not enjoying a return to Brookvale here today, Cuthbertson. Bureau to play it on the 40. Again, I say he's been fantastic since coming on. It's not a setback at all, as it turns out. With Ballon off the field, Nakura on to Cherry Evans. Pumps it downfield towards the posts. It bounces up. And Boyd gets hold of it. And links straight up with Uate. And there's at least half a dozen chases there for Manly. And Newcastle have it just outside their 10. 34 to 4. Scoring started in the third minute today. And now they're up to six tries and counting. And the way their body language is at the moment, every chance they can be scored on again before half time. They can't wait to get to the sheds. It's Newcastle at the moment. They're bunched all over the place. It's Cuthbertson throwing it straight to David Williams. And here's the opportunity to get the 40. Oh dear. Well, Tony Williams just licked his lips out of the left edge. Get the ball out my way. Well, the worst thing was I saw, it, saw a few Newcastle heads go down. Didn't look like to me they were about to defend this. Bura on to Rose. Rose got through the tackle there of Rocco. Well played 11 metres out. Has he been hurt here, George? He has. I think he bumped his head on the ground. He's up, George. And now Bura on it comes for four. And there's Tony Williams. He's offloaded. Brett Stewart will go over again. There's another. 122 tries. Another one at Brookvale. You make it 64 here. And the way he's going, he might get three, four, five or six today. Well, from the time they turned the ball over, the Newcastle heads dropped, and that was the world's slowest play the ball. So they had time to set themselves for this, but came up with a couple of pretty poor reads and a couple of poor physical efforts. And that's what I saw when the ball was turned over. They were in no shape to defend this set of six. They virtually conceded the try. And on the great wall replay, Brett Stewart goes in for another. And he had an unmarked Steve Maddai and George Tafua on his left. We were talking on that afternoon against Parramatta about David Williams maybe getting in the point scoring record books for Manly. Four in one half. Liz Hannigan, we think, rang up at half time. Just to say to the players, uh, might be something in it for you if you keep the ball away from Williams. Les might be on the phone again, seeing his five tries under threat. Well, Brett Stewart now has a double to go with Tony Williams' double. Brett, last year in the final series, he scored at least one try in each of their, their three playoff matches. Now they'd like that to happen again this year. They've got matches against the Broncos and the Titans the next couple of weeks. And they would be hoping to advance to the grand final another two matches after that. Lyon with another conversion attempt. They are in red hot form, but that kick is well wide. In fact, he's uh, put it out in the row D. 38 to 4, two out from half time. And Manly fans, you probably would like to consider the NRL grand final official hospitality packages and you can call that number 1300 645 double to nine for the kick. your experience includes access to the official nrl function before and after the match and with appearances from nrl stars and of course a category one ticket to watch the game because everything about this manly form today it reeks of a grand final appearance again so bura with the ball rose recovered Newcastle terribly disappointing. They've been dismantled in this first half. The Knights, and here they go again. Madai takes on Gagai. Able to finish off. So Manly five metres short of halfway. Two minutes remain. First half. Tafua flung around there. That was a, a tough tackle from Uate. A, a few more of them though. Watmo offloading to Cherry Evans. Stewart to Stewart. Then to Williams. Williams will take on the Guama. 
But they have hold of him there. Last tackle, 25 metres away from the Knights line. Cherry Evans isn't going to give them any peace here. A bomb for Boyd to try and defuse. Foran was there. Good take from Boyd. Darius Boyd at the back for the Knights. And 95 metres from the kickoff reception. So they're in total, total control, Manly. They are absolutely manhandling this Newcastle side. Well, I think you're going to see quite a reception for the Manly team when they come off at half time from what is a big crowd here today at Brookvale. McGuama has come in looking for work here. But 38 to 4, the Knights' lone try to Uate in the 13th minute. Now Cuthbertson with the ball. 15 short of halfway. And at the moment, the four and against is taking a massive hit. And the Tigers, they're cheering every point that Manly can come up with. So too the Broncos, but in particular the Tigers. And now to fool with the ball. Last 30 seconds of the first half. I think his name would pop up on the, the scorer sheet at somewhere. It just won't be Tony Williams with the tries today. It's going to be a big second half score. Now Matt High to play it just inside the 30. They give you the impression as if they're happy to settle for 38 at this point. They're not doing a great deal in this set. Watno's got the ball. And in fact, that will take us to half time and get ready for this for the Manly fans. They're all up at their feet. A standing ovation. And why not? All league fans are going to cheer the way Manly have played today. What a first half. Seven tries to one. Manly, the Premiers, in nine Sunday football, leading Newcastle by 38 to four. A break and back with more. Talk about making a statement. His bold print that Manly have used in the first half. Jerry Evans, I think the second time today they've had to kick off Manly. And Newcastle need to restore pride. Start over again. Barely touched the ball inside the first 10 minutes of the first half. The Knights. And McKinnon will play it in the line tackle there. It became tangled up there. Now Taylor with the ball. Almost got a Newcastle try. Boyd had one disallowed. Taylor went close and Uate got the four-pointer. They were the rare, the rare highlights for the Knights in the first half. Good run there by Rocco. Outstanding run. Robbie Rocco. Look at him go. He's inside. He's put to an end by the Wolfman. The nightmare on the 30-metre line. What a run from Rocco, what a tackle from Williams. Now it comes out for Gagai. Gagai has lost the ball and Manly have possession. Did you see that coming? Well, I don't think I've seen a black run so far, so far to get sat on his backside. He's run 50 metres straight up the middle and then got clobbered. Just stand and play. And now the play of the ball was uh, sloppy. What a hit. And what a run. Yeah, Rocco. Great run, but he stopped quick, didn't he? Well, he'll have to edit that bit off the tape, won't he? You'll just have to put the highlights in before the tackle. There's Watmo pushes the ball along the Glen Stewart. He's just steering the ship around today. Lyon was there. Williams has gone down. He's in trouble. Dave Williams is down. And his lower leg he's reaching for. This is this could be real bad for David Williams as the ball goes back here for Uate for the Knights. There is David Williams. That's back inside the Manly half. Yeah, and he was punching the ground too, so I don't think he's too happy at all. I mentioned he looked back after a try early in the game and it was it was a knee, a right knee. And the trainer has just signalled to the sideline that he is no good. They need to get him off. And I think it is the knee that is the problem. It was a collision. Sure someone trod on him or bumped into him or clashed knees or what have you. And he's now trying to walk it off, at least to stay. Let's have a look. And he just falls and then he 
Well, there's not much in that at all, is there? But in the stumble, he's hurt his leg. It's just the involuntary knock. And he's now trying to yeah, walk it off. He's with your trainer, he's... Jamie. Play on. Well, he's taking his place back in the line, is he? No, he's going to limp off now. Well, he's going to walk all the way around the uh, perimeter and uh, Newcastle in the meantime with a penalty. Start a set 30 metres out from the line. Tap. Manly already with Ballon off early. Jason King off. And now Williams off. Bench could be just one player. As Cuthbertson is tackled 15 metres out from the Seagulls line. And here is Badiris. Badiris on the Roberts. Jamie Buell has been knocked out cold here. And the ball not finding the Guama. But there's real concern here for Jamie Bura of Manly. Boy, have things turned ugly here for the runaway leaders. I care about your players as much as do, but we can't blow the whistle in the middle of the game, OK? We have to wait. <laughs> it was a good read by Jamie Lyon in defence out there. He didn't realise till late that he was actually standing on the wing and he kept turning around to see if the Wolfman was there. And in the end, he came up and spoiled the play. But Jamie Bura, a lot of concern for him in the middle of the field. Well, we'll take a break. It's not looking good at all. Three and a half minutes into the second half, Williams limps off. Bura flat on his back. Manly lead Newcastle 38 to 4. Well, here is the scene at Brookvale. Following David Williams' departure, Jamie Bura now not cold. Now, if there's any rules to follow with a concussion law in rugby league, Bura does not return today. I know their bench is down to zero, but for all his bravery, he can't be allowed back out there. And Manly now have zero players on the bench. And to add insult to injury, it was a head clash with Vic Morrow. His teammate that has put him out of the game here as Manly win the scrum on their own 10 and Matt Oye comes in at 5-8 to take the first pass. 37 minutes. King is now back on the bench. The Seagulls with the ball and Rose is the man to play it. And there will be a penalty there to Manly. Are they yeah, playing with 12 no, at the moment? The ball and still wrestling instead of letting him play it. Oh, please, They're please. playing with 12 men at the moment because I saw Kite on the bench. I thought, well, they've they got two suddenly on the bench. So Kite will come back on. Now they've got 13 on. Yeah, I think Jeff Toovey would be just having a little bit of a think before he he organises his troops out there. And it obviously means that players who don't necessarily play a lot of minutes on a week-to-week -week basis will be out there for the second half. Woodrose, Nullabow, Vic Morrow. I'll tell you the irony of this. Remember the, the match last year, Newcastle absolutely decimated right. against Manly with serious injuries. I remember Bo Henry, uh, uh, among others. I think Ben Rogers. They all went down. They lost three before half time. Well, this man, George Rose, will, will be out there. And I wasn't being disrespectful earlier when we were just joking about uh, his frame, but he's capable of playing 20 minutes with good skill as Brett Stewart. Oh, on the run from Stewart around the outside of Tyrone Roberts and then Lyon on the end of that, 10 metres out from the line. The fit will continue for Manly as it comes centre field for Nullivan. He is one of them that will have to stay out there. Five metres away from the line. Seagulls in possession. Closing in maybe on try number eight. The pass goes loose. Jerry Evans back for it. Did well in the end to pick it up, and he's lost it. Brett Stewart has lost it. And there's probably about four knock-ons in all of that, but <laughs> I think it'll be against Manly, the first one. Yeah, I think sometimes we make a little bit too much of players having to stay out there for long minutes. I mean, trainers tell me that the conditioning of players these days, they could all play two games on the one day and, and, and be fine. So it'll just mean a little bit of grit for these fellas to to push their way through it, probably pace themselves a little bit more than they normally would. Um, but, you know, the, the fitness is there at this stage of the season. They, right. they should handle it. That being the case, you've been a coach of the NRL. You've got Jason King, who's not 100%. Suddenly, would you throw him back in at a pinch or you stick to the original plan he stays off? Depends on the score, depends on how the game flows. At 38-4, I'm not worrying about that decision just yet. But I wouldn't have him in the shower, let's put it that way. He'd still have his gear on. So now the ball with Uate back to centre field. Always a handful. Two games played earlier today and results important for both the Wooden Spoon and indeed the race for the top eight. Warriors suffer another loss. Penrith two points clear of the bottom, winning 18-16.
And uh, the Titans still in finals contention, toppling the Eels today, 24 to 16. A game they lead for the early stages. Gagai's thrown it three metres forward, uh, maybe four. On to Uate, who got rid of Glenn Stewart. Sorry? Gagai was upended after passing and sort of lost his way a little. Four passing. Yeah, and, th and this is just another challenge for Manly this afternoon. To these 13 blokes out here will just look at each other and say, OK, it's up to us. We've got to keep grinding away to the finish line, and that won't be so bad if they get through unscathed between now and full time. It's, it's all great preparation in August. Sort of steals them a little bit at 38 to 4 and a full compliment on the bench. You know, maybe a th fewer things about it. An early mark, but now they've got some work to do. Kieran Four and Ad Hooker in this scrum. Glenn Stewart feeds it. Oh, lovely ball from the base of the scrum from Glenn Stewart. He's going to enjoy this. I don't know about Kieran Four and loving it. And now Nullabau with the ball. Well, he's obviously sliding into the dummy half roll now in the absence of Ballon and Bure. As Brent Pott does well to take that pass from Moro down low, out in front. 35 away from the Knights line, little short side, then back to the open side with Cherry Evans. A show of the ball to Brett Stewart, now links up with Tony Williams. Williams delivers a pass on the bounce to Tafua. He did well to stay in from the sideline, George, under a bit of assault. I thought Williams was half into a hole there. He should have explored a bit further. Now Glenn Stewart again offloading. Malavau, real spring of his step. Brett Stewart, nice footwork from Brett Stewart. Offloads here for Cherry Evans. Uh, a bit of touch football about this. He's offloaded. Morrow's got a touch then for Kite. Kite's 15 away from the line. He wants to offload. He's in a wrestle with Roberts. Like a pesky little fly. And that is the last tackle for Manly. For him to Cherry Evans. The kick through is scooped up there by Naguama. And a line dropout for the Knights. Hello. Lovely control and good football. Good football. I think regardless of what happens between now and full time, there may be a significant adjustment in the premiership markets. Daly! Let's go, Jared, behind Stay the line. Behind, boys. The Tiger Tigers behind. have gone out past the, the $20 yeah. mark this weekend. Behind. South have taken a hit. There's now Mullen on the restart. Hang on, hang on, there's a penalty. In front. Chris Houston's in front. Chris Houston. We've told you to stay behind. He's pinged for being in front of the man taking the line dropout. Stay on the over line, Over the, the goal the line. Kick. You do not see that very often. Well, he's not even watching. My God. Well, you could say they probably deserve to have a try conceded here. That is very sloppy from the Knights as Terry Evans passes beautifully for Brett Stewart. Then back for Watmo, focused on getting to the line. He hasn't got it down, though. Newcastle have held him up. Out of be tackled two, check obstruction. Well, I thought and he was going to say held up. Great then he night. said go to the video referee. Watmo's not celebrating in any shape or form there. I was pretty sure he's held up, but we're also going to look at that, that O word, obstruction. He appeared certain to score when they went to the right-hand side and this inside ball put him into a hole. I thought if it had gone off his left foot there, he would have been, been harder to stop. But Alex McKinnon, one-on-one, -on -one, has done a great job if he has denied. Rocco claiming there was an obstruction. Well, Brent Kite was just caught in the wrong place. He'd gone through and wasn't doing anything, and suddenly the play came back. He just got in the way. You can't really penalise him for obstruction. But I think he's... Uh... Ah, he's, he's held, held up. Him up. So Stephen there, Clark bro. is again called yeah. into the action. He says no try, and the decision, in fact, will be for the obstruction. Oh dear! But, oh dear. <laughs> sorry to ruin your day, Gus. You've had a good day. Penrith have had a win. Andrew John sideline. Yeah, David Williams just on that knee injury. Yeah. At this stage, they think it's just a minor strain. After yep. walking all the way around from the other side of the field, he was asking actually to go back on. So I'm sure he'll have scans tomorrow. But at this stage, it doesn't look too serious. So good news for the Eagles. Of course, the concussion for Jamie Bura. So 30 minutes remaining, 38 to 4. That was the half-time score. As now Naguama gets away. Have a look at him run. Naguama. Oh, he could have been in the final in London. 
Naguama just sprints away to score here for Newcastle. That is super impressive. Well, and what we just saw there, is there a club that has two quicker wingers on their extremities? Lovely hands from Tamana Tahu on his inside, and then he just put the foot down. He was able to beat all the cover defenders. And he's done well since being elevated in the top grade in recent weeks from Wayne Bennett. His brother off to Penrith next season. Kevin making a name for himself in the Hunter Valley. Well, with Marika Corabetti and that young man, the Fijians would win the League Olympics in the relay. There's your, there's your opening leg and your anchor leg right there. He absolutely flew. The only thing missing there was scorched turf. Jared Hayne would probably make the relay side too. <laughs> and nearly win the League Olympics relay. Tyler Roberts with the sideline conversion. Successful. Manly injury stricken. Newcastle post the first try of the second half. It's 38 to 10. 38 to 10. And Cherry Evans with a restart of play. Exciting try to Kevin Maguama in only his ninth NRL game. Six tries in eight games this year, which is impressive. Been up in the night system since 2008. The feeling a little bit better about themselves, but a long way to go in this one. But. I guess they're aware of the predicament that faces Manly with injured troops as McKinnon takes the run. Costigan in a dummy half. Just short of halfway. Now Roberts, line set up to the right-hand side. Boyd is into it. Now Gagoy is into the clear. There's support left and right. This is Mullen with the ball. Mullen will go all the way for the Knights. Mullen will score for Newcastle. Just hang on. Don't open the champagne this afternoon just yet. It's 38 to 14. There's an awful lot of time still to go. And still an awful lot of points left to score, but we've seen plenty of teams this season do exactly that. Lovely work there from Darius Boyd to straighten the attack, and that allows Gagai to run into a hole, similar to what we saw Josh Reynolds do on Friday night. And the number six for Newcastle back on the inside to take advantage he shaped a pass he's got good speed and he had enough to bring it around and make an easy conversion for tyrone roberts it makes me wonder why tyrone roberts can slot the ball between the posts but he can't hit the field when he kicks off there it is straight down the middle well he's got it 38 to 16 now, Andrew John sideline. Yeah, great ball playing by Jared Mullen and a great line here by Chris Houston. See the line there that commits Kieran Foran and then out the back, Steve Maddai hangs back. That creates a three on two. And then look at this, Jared Mullen, look at the speed. There's only one man there, he puts the afterburners on. That's when he's at his best, when he's running the ball, Mullen. Very quick and strong. Well, I'll play Stay sports behind. psychologist here. If you pulled the Newcastle players aside before the game and said, could you score four tries Wait in 25 minutes? Just leave everything else out of the way and say, could you score four tries in 25 minutes? They'd all say, you bet your life we could. Well, that's what they've got to do here. Forget the scoreline. Well, the other side of that is if they just save two tries in the first half instead of conceding 38, you know, you're a lot closer to where you want to be. So you know, that's why you should never, ever, ever give up on a play. You never, you never know how close you're going to be at the finish. Played by Rocco and Costa getting on for Mason, trying to get them going again. Then Stewart up there with the tackle with Cherry Evans, Costigan. He's doing all the dummy half work, the kidding's away. He's got a lovely ball around the corner. Naguama with a juggle and couldn't stay in from the sideline. He had a lot of work to do. He probably gets eight and a half out of ten, Naguama. OK, but what it means now is they've got to show whether or not they're fighting back in their defence. If they go through this while they've got the ball and then concede a soft try or easy metres when they haven't got the ball, then there's no fear of a, of a comeback victory. So they've got to make a statement here without the ball. They've got to let Manly know that they're in this and they want to keep coming. 
Good show, this. Yeah, on the Billy Badness Monday, 8.30 on 9. Aussie drama at its brilliant best. You've got the Billy Badness tomorrow night. You've got How's That tonight. Just looking at the night's completion rate with that uh, drop ball, 10 of 20 here now today, which is ordinary. And you're playing one of the best sides in the league, the defending premiers at Brookvale. So they need to really improve that to keep the miracle going or to keep hope of the miracle happening. So Manly with it, five metres inside the Newcastle half. And across with four. This pass goes out the back behind Matt Eye. First time that that's happened. Tafua's in a little bit of trouble there, close to the line. Uate makes the tackle. And now Brett Stewart on for George Rose. And that's a good run from George. Uh, good run, Georgie. Mum Shuri comes to every home game at Brookvale. She was up cheering that one. Moro to play it. 20 metres out from the line. Last tackle. For it inside. That's been knocked down by Mullen. Play it one. Yeah. And they'll say zero, Newcastle zero play on. Hold. Hold. Your tackle zero. And Cherry Evans now slotting into dummy half and allowing four in to go out. As a receiver. There's Newcastle tackling their own team. Meters as Cuffdixon now passed and going across field. Solid hit front on from Kite. And still, I'm right in saying that Watmo is playing at right centre for Manly. Jamie Lyon out at right wing. With uh, David Williams off. And Bura, their utility player, off. So, uh, a redeployment of troops today, run there by Mason. Yeah, it's a reshuffle, and that's why we've seen some passes go to ground. Two players in different situations, positions they normally would find themselves. Boyd now, he can play on the outside, but well contained there from four and got help from Matai. Newcastle have thrown on the last of their, their freshmen, Zane Tedavano. What a luxury that is compared to what Jeff Tooby's confronted by at the moment. Kick over the head of Brett Stewart, has to play it. There are eight chases there for Newcastle, they're all there. And Stewart strapped in front of the posts. 22 minutes to go. And 22 points the difference, which is way better than 34 as it was at half time. How Newcastle would love a manly error right here. Glenn Stewart to take one of the hard runs out of trouble. Tedovano was there to make the tackle. He's the man in 17 for the Knights. Now back to centre field for Moro is hit hard by the Knights. They rally here. And they're doing all they can to force that mistake. Now Rose, up he goes, he makes eight again. That was Jared Mullen with the initial contact in the big hit there as Daly Cherry Evans takes advantage of a quick play, the ball. And the fall to Darius Boyd. Morade's gone back on his inside. Oh, good move, the first one got past Watmo. We've got another manly player down. That's Nullabout. Boy, boy, what an afternoon for Manly here. So Newcastle with the ball up on halfway. I don't know whether the trainer's going to signal to the referee here to try and stop it. As the Knights carry on downfield for Tedovano. And now they will stop the play. Going on, tackle three. Thanks, Dan. Hey. Willie, Willie, Willie. Injury back here. Well, he's a long way coming, behind mate. the play. Okay, bro. You can ask. Well, well, I can't see how he's interfering away. in the action at the moment. <laughs> and as much as we're about player safety, I mean, there's just a knock on the chin, unlucky. Yeah, very I can't see why they didn't play on there. Well, this time with the trainers with Joe Nullivau, we'll take a break from Brookvale. Sunday afternoon football on nine for Home Timber and Hardware, 38 to 16. Well, here at Brookvale, Joe Nullivau remains on the field. Jason King remains on the bench. We know that he's not 100%, but he's showing us that he's ready to come back into the action. They're not going to play with 12. Not this far out anyway. Maybe the last five they, they would, but not with 21 to go. Here's Mason, spirited run. If the Knights can post another here, going into the last quarter of the game. Manly fans, none, none will be going home. Houston with it, tackled there nicely by Foran and Matai. Last here for the Knights. And there's a penalty for the push. What about this? A lot going the Knights way right now. Nice, you're willing them, Andrew, aren't you? You're, you sense something, don't you? We can't complain, Kieran for it. It was unnecessary. Great chance now, Tedavano. Well, Tuby will do a foofa valve if they score again. The Knights, 11 minutes out, 11 metres out from the line. 
Mullen and he goes inside Mason's the right man to charge. Here he is, Big Willie. Big tackle by Kite low down. Rose whispers a few sweet nothings in the ear of Watmo after the tackle. Now Costigan away to Roberts. High ball there. But well caught by Tahu. And Cherry Evans there with Stewart. They're eight metres away from the line. Roberts, that's Tyrone Roberts. So cross for Boyd. Then for Cuthbertson. We know he's got an offload. Not in this tackle. Leg was taken by Tony Williams. Again with Mullen. A dummy inside. They go outside for Gagai. Tucks on Madai. This time Madai's got him. And that is the last tackle. Newcastle. Costigan got the dummy half. Mullen's get a bomb across field. Jamie Lyons out of the wing. The ball is there. It's still there for Tahu. And that field's just not wide enough. 20, 20, 20, 20. We well, established that right from the kickoff today. That was a close 20, call. 20. Jamie Lyon out at right wing for Manly. May have even touched the hands of Naguama on the way through, to be honest, looking at that replay. Sort of running it. We can have a quick one. Well, there's no so sprinting the back to take the 20 metre tap here. Manly are now in survival mode. So here they are, 30 goals out from no line, and Tony Williams gets it flat-footed. That's gone forward from Williams and has been called forward. Nice forward pass, boys. Well, look in at this. 20, in 20. That was good work by Jared Mullen here. I mean, he got pushed off one-on-one -on -one early. Look at that. In he goes underneath, picks a big man up. That's a that's a brave effort from young Mullen. That's the kind of play from Williams, that foofa vow. Manly back with me, boys. Put some pressure on. I can't spell foofa, but... Uh, is it with a P or...? A... That's what I don't know. Okay. I don't know. It's your word. You can have whatever well, you want. You can spell it however you like. So, a scrum food for the Knights, 31 metres out from the Manly line. And that would be a silent P. <laughs> That's it. Correct. No, the P might come after the F, actually, with an H in there somewhere. Might be P-H-F, Fuffa. I don't know. Tahu to play it. And uh, no reason to go home, Gus, from Brookvale Oval this afternoon because you're back here Friday night. For Manly against the Broncos, and that will be 7.30 live in New South Wales and Queensland. Massive game, in particular for the Broncos, to be followed by the Raiders and the Bulldogs. Massive for Canberra. Bulldogs chase another. Good offload. Mason the Costigan sizes up opportunities. Puts a kick through. Onside's the call. Bounces up, and Naguama's gone over again. And it's another try to the Knights. It's another try to Newcastle. It may be the bizarrest afternoon of the NRL. Well, the second time that the Newcastle side have looked to take advantage of no David Williams on that wing. And the Great Wall replay, great work from Willie Mason, discarding a couple of, and Neville Costigan. Well, he just dribbles it through for his winger. Jamie Lyon, the widest man, and Naguama able to regather, put it down. Not an easy conversion, but they are now within three converted tries of the opposition. Well, every player is born with a kicking licence. Oh, dear. No, that, that, there's your fuffa valve. That's, that's the fuffa valve gone. It's blown. <laughs> How many fuffa valves have you got? Can we, can we? Is there a doctor in the house? Where's Brad Pitt? There's only one. You've got to look after it. So Roberts with another kick. Roberts is to the left of the uprights. Every shot so important. Joey on the sideline. What's your prediction from here? I have no idea, Vossi, but what I do know is Neville Costigan's been playing rugby league for 25 years, and I can safe to say this is the first time he's kicked the ball, and it's an absolute beauty. Look at that. End over end. Beautiful touch. Bounces up from the Guama in the corner. Yep. And with 16 minutes to go, you can't ride off the Knights. All the momentum with them. <laughs> oh, little each way bet there. I mean, the long odds on favourite, but he's had a little double double on an outsider. Yeah, Manly crowd really starting to chant behind their team now. And when the Guama scored that try, the, the crowd sitting in front of us in the grandstands all took a look up at the scoreboard and the clock, mm. and they thought it's not possible, surely. And Manly have set a record. Their last two restarts, I reckon, the slowest in the history of the game since uh, 1908 getting play back underway. So the Knights with the ball. Mason has got it. He is leading from the front, Willie Mason. There's no question of that. 
And this time Mullen to play it just outside the 20. This is exactly what happened against Parramatta earlier in the year. They led 40 mil from 35 minutes to go and they won 40 24. And it was an ugly second half. Now Mullen, there's a big line out here to the left as Roberts brings Boyd into the play and away goes Tahu. Naguaba's on his outside, give it. Tahu back in field as finished off by Madai, the left centre. I thought you just let Naguama run. Now Roberts passes for Mullen. Overlap right hand side. Bounces to Gagai. Gagai steps off the right and is finished up by Kite. They were offside. There's 15 to go. And Newcastle, they look certain hey, to Dickie, score wait, again. Wait, 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 wait. We were looking Tony. for the big really quick tap. Well, why have we, why we got to have a caution here? <laughs> it's already stopped. Me. Mason was ready to tap Over and here, run. You've attempted the trip. It's going on report. Well, there's an interesting one. He's, he's put Tony Williams on report. He was wrong-footed horribly. Kick. As now the tap restart. Costigan, on it comes for Uate. But, but why did he have to stop the game to do that? Why can't he do that later? So now Costigan, five metres out from the line. He'll pass. Well, they mixed it up there. It ended up with Kate Snowden. But there was plenty of Knights jumpers ended up close enough to the in-goal area. Costigan away again. Tedovano is pushed back. Good shot, Brent Kite. Body on the line there along with others. What about this tension from 38 to 4? And now all Newcastle as uh, Houston steps himself into the ground there. Six metres away from the line. Costigan doing a fine fist of dummy half work. Out the back for Roberts. Roberts gets it away for Tahu. Steps back off the left. It's on the fingertips. It's play on for Boyd. Play on. Crowd didn't like it. I'm happy enough with it. And it's 10 metres away from the Manly line. But it is the last tackle this time. And it's not their best set. There's a bit to admire about the Manly defence in this set. Now Mullen's got to kick through. Still has lost it. Mason was there. It's Knock gone down. Mason. Go hang on a second. No, no, no. He's got a smile, but no, no, it's gone he's a he's a fibber and we'll have a line like drop out. <laughs> he's enjoyed this, will he? Yeah, Thank well, the start of the set of six, he wanted to take a quick tap five metres out and one man in front of him, and the referee denied him. Here's the kick in the end goal. Knocked on there by Stewart. Comes off the head of Houston. Goes forward. And Big Willie lunges. And Brett is at... Uh, Matai. Matai is at the gets a hand of the ball. Stadium. And again, all the time in the world. Taking the gun, the short drop out. And they've charged onto it. And away goes Foran. Look at him go. Kieran Foran's over halfway. And talk about sending the crowd delirious. Ah, uh, stand in applause. Relax, Penalty. Steve, relax, relax. <laughs> that may well Tony. be one of the best plays of the year. <laughs> well, we saw Glenn Stewart come up with one of the most audacious relax. plays you've ever seen in last Go year's away. grand final. <laughs> Back away, boys. This might not carry the same profile of that game, but this, this is as unpredictable as it is brilliant. And now you would think that Jamie Lyon would have a shot at goal here. Yeah, well, he pointed to the post. They're just having a little bit of discussion. But, you know, to, to come up with that play at that time, the half five eight combination. Yeah, Boyd's up endings put on report there. Kate yeah. Snowden on report. No, there's only Kate Snowden, Snowden on Kate report. Kate Snowden on report. Hang on a second. Yeah. Boyd. Yeah, uh, kicking for touch. Sorry, Andrew. That's just a daring play. Fortune favours the Braves. And instead of kicking for goal, they might think one point if they don't score in five plays here. Beautiful disguise on the kick too from Cherry Evans. He, he looked like he was going long for all the world. So Manly with it, 15 out from the Knights line. Did you see any of this coming in the second half at 38-4 at the break? Here's Glenn Stewart. Away to Brett Stewart. He wants a hat-trick today. They don't lose when both Stewart score. Inside pass there. Mullivale's made an incredible recovery. Well, Foran is pointing to Tony Williams saying, get yourself ready, I'm coming your way. Glenn Stewart on the fingertips there of Watmo, the centre to Lyon, the winger. Five metres away from the line. Newcastle need to hang on. And now Manly with Cherry Evans to a flat-footed Brent Kite. He's had a big afternoon, he's lost it. Has he? Oh, oh no, he's oh. kept it alive. Jamie Lyons ended up with the ball. <laughs> Jamie Lyons ended up 
with it. Uh, knocks it on and kicks it, please. He's, he's got to check if it's a knock on, but he's got a foot to it on the way down. Well, he, he was he was trying to kick the football through. Didn't he drop it? And what about the pick up to get it to line? Didn't he drop no, it? Oh, he doesn't even know himself. I'm sure he drops it. No, he's no. kicked it. He's no, kicked it again. He's, no, dropped he's dropped it. Dropped oh, it. Dropped let's have another look. What about the pick up? You can't call that a drop Hang kick. Hang on, have a look. We'll go back. He's, I reckon he's dropped it, then kicked it. Or he's kicked it twice. The set, if he, he's got to kick it the first time. The second one's not the one. You can't nah. call that a kick, can nah. you? <laughs> he's what? dropped. I think That's... he's dropped it. Well, is it a kick, Peter? Well, is it a you, drop you, kick? You, well, <laughs> well if, if you kick it at the same time as it's... That hits the ground, doesn't it? Yeah, it's a yeah, drop. You... That's a drop. Slow, 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 slow yeah. motion. He's... I think he's dropped it. He's... That, that can't be a drop kick. No, that... You can't call it a drop he's, kick. He's almost put a stud through the ball. Yeah. And no tries the call. I think a common sense right, decision. Tackle. It would have been lovely Turns to say try. Over here, boys. Because I've never Turns seen that before, ball. but... I'm surprised that they didn't go for one point. I'm surprised that Daly Cherry Evans turned his front row back that side. I've got to ask you, has Tony Williams touched the ball in the second half? Well, look, Kieran Foran was talking to Tony Williams there on about tackle two and said, just get yourself ready. I'm going to put you in for a try here. And the ball inexplicably just filled it across to the other side of the field. Well, we've got him for half a dozen hit-ups. I'm sure they're all in the first half, guys. Oh, I don't think he's had a run of the football in the second half. Anyway, chance for Newcastle. What knows down, down for Manly as Gagai is with it. I know he threw an offload that would displease coach Jeff Turvey just before the last Newcastle tie, Tony Williams. And now Duarte with the ball. So let's size it up. Ten and a half minutes to go. 38 to 20. Mathematically still possible. Manley's only ever played in two Golden Point games, by the way, as he goes Boyd again. Boyd has got him turned around, now he's offloaded. Naguama comes back infield, he's cornered there. And Cherry Evans, they're inside the 20. It's a last tackle, referee's shouting at Manley to get onside. They, they may not have got there, there's a little kick. Was that a drop kick? What was that from Mason? Who knows? Rose, great thing. Well, Willie Mason just saw Brent Kite do it at the other end and said, oh, I'm going to get in on that. Costigan's had a kick. Brent Kite's trying to kick. Mason said, I may as well have a kick too. Oh, one-on-one -on -one strip from Snowden. Well, While Manly were complaining, Madai complaining that he was offside, Snowden has grabbed the football. Well, I said, well, why not? Why not? Badera's back out there for the Knights across to Mullen. Mullen away to Gagai. Quickly on to Uate. Uate, one-handed. Knocked down. Gagai needs to keep it alive. And juggling back with it. He's done Gagai. He's 25 metres away from the Manly line. So it's still lively. Everyone's jumpy here. Houston offloads. Then with Tedavano. He's got the ball. Mason's coming off for Newcastle. Rocco back into the game. I don't think Willie wanted to come off. Houston with another run, 10 away. I don't think the coach wanted his brother kicking either. Now Baderas on to Mullen, thought about kicking, then delivers a short pass, and Snowden has held up. Rose was there with Nullivau. Last tackle for the Knights. Good defence, Manley. Now the king, oh, you are taste falling over. <laughs> it was in reverse. And he's done the Tony De La Ceres and tripped over his feet. Well, he was getting ready for the leap. He was... He was coming up to the to the high jump bar. Here I go, here I go, and down he goes. Rather a bit of an anti-climax there. How did you describe this? Lively, is that? That's it. <laughs> a little bit lively. Just a little bit. And now what I said earlier, he, he collapsed up near halfway, actually. Half. Oh, a good minute ago. And now he's down again. Let's go, gents. Let's go. Come on, Joe. King's up again on the bench. They said they'll only use him if necessary. <laughs> Wait for the ball, no! He's pulled a muscle getting up and down from the chair. Straight together. Well, why didn't Newcastle bind their Wait scrum the to stop the clock there? Hold the weight. It's it's 20 or 30 hold. seconds that have just hold. dissipated hold. in the thin air. Hold. Manly holding the ball in the scrum. Now, what happens if Manly holds it there for 12 minutes? Because the other side's not allowed to push, are Well, they? I would say if they did that, Newcastle would have walked off four minutes earlier because that would be full time. But I don't know why Manly would still have the ball in the scrum. Now. So Manley got the ball 20 metres out from their line. Kite has been really good for the Seagulls today. 24 tackles and double-figure hit-up count. Nullivau's had an injection of something in the second half to, to get him going. He was down for the count. Here is Rose. 
He's laboured on. No great for George. When was the last time he played a, a straight 40 minutes in a game? George Rose as the kick goes towards the post, just shaves the upright padding. <laughs> yeah, deliberate from Daly Cherry Evans. That's the play. Set your defence. Sacrifice 20 metres. But they'll be coming out of line, not a kick return. Ball on side. Foot on it, then. Here we go. Restart of play. Uate explodes onto the footy. And almost gets through the tackle of Malavau. Now there is seven minutes remaining. And still 38 to 20. It got to that scoreline with 17 to go. So it's been tense. It's been some unusual incidents in the following 10 minutes. Here's Houston with it. Look, they found it to their left Newcastle. That's where they've made the breaks. That's the way they're headed. Mullen across to Roberts. Again with Boyd. Cut out ball this time, but the Guama couldn't handle it. Well, this time they wanted to send the flyer away. Just get him the ball. And he just couldn't come up with a play at the big time. Now, let's think about this. Naguama, Corabetti, Uate and Hain. The Fijian 4x100 relay team. Who would take that on well, and beat it? I've got the football replay. They, they might really take on Bolt and the new cricketer. The Fijian Flyers Blake. in our game now. Oh, um, Gus, we had the League yeah, Olympics back in the 70s. Game. Obviously, there's that many fans who want it. Yeah. Would love to see it, but the clubs have to be cooperative. We even lost the 100 metre sprint there a few years ago. But how good would it be? Let's go. Heads in now. Don't go early, Knights. Have Wait tug for the of war, have the whole bit. Hold the Hold the See them throw a discus. Maybe you like. Wait for the ball. Next Sunday, by the way, it's South oh, Sydney yeah. versus Parramatta. Rabbitohs need to snap a two-game losing streak. The home run for Hindy. It'll be second last game as captain of Parramatta. And now Lyon to play the ball. So if you can't get to Nathan Hindmarsh's farewell, get along to the... Rabideau's Parramatta game next Sunday. Brett Stewart has put it down. Mullen wants to send you away. And he's got the baton, but he's over the sideline. Tackled by George Tafua. And they'll say they've taken their advantage. Stewart with the knock on. Uwadeo tests his man on the outside, but really didn't have enough room to move. Five minutes left on the clock. 38 to 20. The home side will win. Crowd 14,191. Go, Looked a lot more here. than that. Let's go. Come on, Brent. Did Wait, indeed. That's all right, mate. Hey. So 38 to 20. Together, Scrum 45 metres out from the Newcastle line. They've scored more tries than any other side directly from Scrums this year, Manly. Here is Foran. They're going to go the short side with Matt Eye. And Matt Eye will go close to the sideline there. And the Mullen. And Gagai tackle. That's a four to four and to Williams. He's got a touch. There's a fend on Houston. Well, look who's driving in low. That was Badiris. Good tackle. Cherry Evans away here for Morrow as collared by Tedavano. Just a grab and play on the call from the refs. Cherry Evans on the kite. Nice delivery of the pass there to Watmo. He's come in from right centre. And playing Lion out at right wing. It takes him out of the play a little more as well, you've got to remember. Here's Georgie, he's kept the strides up today. He's tackled 12 metres away from the Knights line. Last tackle, foreign Tony Williams. Nice ball, Brett Stewart. And Nuate's come up a little too quick. And Tafua has waltzed over. He was neither here nor there, Nuate. And that's the sealer, Manly 42 to 20. No, the only reason Nuate should come up like that is if he's looking for the intercept, but I don't even think that was his intention. It's just a really bad read. And Manly, after being under some pressure in this second half through a lack of troops, well, they win again. Yeah, there's no reason for him to go in, like I say, unless he was looking for an intercept to go the length of the field. It's just a, a very poor read, well executed by the Eagles. And 38 points in the first half, Gus, seven tries, and we get to the 77th minute to get their eighth try, and their first to the second half. Yeah, well, they had some setbacks, didn't they? They've, uh, yeah, as you say, a lot of injuries there and a little bit of flow of possession from Newcastle, and it's hard to be grim when you don't have to be. But essentially, they've been by far the better team today, and that blistering first 40 minutes is a reminder to everyone that the defending premiers are the team to beat in this competition. 
And if Jamie Lyon converts this from the sideline, is my mathematics correct? They'll move into third position and leapfrog South Sydney. Correct. 20, 23 was the number, wasn't it? It so was. They're, they're 22 in front. So if Lyon kicks this, Manly go from fourth to third and over the top of South Sydney. I don't think he would be... Or would he be aware? No. no you don't think so? I think he just wants to kick it. And here it is. From meter in for the touch. Jamie Lyon. There's a little lift. Maybe the Bunnies fans blew it that way. Andrew Johns on the sideline. Yeah, nice ball playing on the edge of the ruck here by Tony Williams. Just the mere presence of the big man just collects numbers. Look at the defenders stopping. And Brett Stewart gets the ball. And I think Aquila Uate there, the anchor in the relay, he took off before he got the bat. I don't know what he was doing. And just on that four and against angle for the Knights, they go to minus 20 as a result of this 22-point margin. And you've got to remember the Tigers sitting in eighth position have a, a points differential of minus one. Well, I want to back the Fijian four against any other nationality in rugby league. Any other four you can win. I, I've, I've just been through the big league. I think the Fijian four win. There you go. Australia get another silver medal. Manly with the ball. Glenn Stewart's offloaded here. Maybe there's time to get that uh, 23. 80 seconds remaining here. 42 to 20. So New Zealand might be able to come up with a, with a decent four. Manly in possession, last tackle. And uh, Danny Cherry Evans is going to go to the point. Looking for the 23. Cherry Evans has put it out to the side. With one minute to go. Would have been the 23 points. Thank you. Yep, that they would be then the same points differential as South Sydney, but would be ahead of them because their defensive stats are better. It would be the tiebreaker there. And now Tahu's lost it. Whoops. Well, Manly happy to say that's enough for the afternoon. Man of the match, the KFC say good man of the match. In fact, Brett Stewart today, another try double, taking his Brookvale tally to 64 tries in 68 games and 122 tries in the career now. Brett Stewart, another big afternoon for him here in front of home fans. Let's go, Tamana, Darius, get your head in. So, final seconds. Glenn Stewart defeat another scrum. Cherry Evans off loads. Forum's going to kick. They look to have it covered. Boyd has fumbled. Uate's got the ball. Uate is in goal. And he's taken down by a KFC. So good man of the match. And that will do. The Premiers have made another statement. They are now officially on quite a roll. Manly scoring eight tries this afternoon to the Knights four. Manly 42, Newcastle 20. They'll feature again next Friday night against the Broncos. We'll see you then next up, Nine News.